In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create Jira issues from email. If you're looking to streamline your workflow by integrating your email communications directly into Jira, you've come to the right place. We'll walk through the process step by step so you can easily manage tasks right from your inbox. First, let's ensure we're all on the same page by heading over to your Jira homepage. This is your main dashboard where all your projects are housed. From here you'll find settings labelled at the top right corner of your screen. Go ahead and click on it and then from the drop down menu you'll want to select system. This path takes you to the heart of your Jira configurations. Now here's where we get into the nitty gritty of mail settings. Scroll down until you find the section titled mail settings. In there you will see an option called incoming mail. Give it a click. This section allows Jira to handle emails that it receives in a more structured manner. Next look for the option that says add incoming mail handler and click on it. This is the feature that lets us define how emails convert into Jira issues. You'll be prompted to enter a unique name for this handler. This is simply for your reference so choose something that reflects its function. You will also need to select the email server you've set up prior. It's essential your email server is correctly configured to ensure smooth communication between your email and Jira. Once you've named your mail handler and selected your server, it's time to decide on your mail handler type. This decision dictates how emails are processed. You can either create a new issue from it or choose to add a comment to an existing issue. This choice fundamentally depends on how you want to use incoming emails in your workflow. Now we'll proceed by clicking next. This action takes us to the configuration stage where we define our email processing rules. You'll need to select which specific Jira project the issue should be created in. It's crucial to choose correctly as this determines the context of where new issues will land. Additionally, you have to set your default issue type. This could be a bug, a task or a story, depending on what fits your process best. Do consider your team's workflow when making this selection as it affects how issues are treated and categorized. Finally, select an issue reporter. This is the person who will be marked as the creator of the issue. By default, this might be you, but you can select any appropriate user who fits this role. Once all these settings are appropriately set, the last thing to do is to click on add. This confirms your choices and activates the newly configured mail handler. Now your Jira is all set up to create issues directly from your incoming emails, streamlining your task management and keeping everything organized in one place. 